This is the 5 1 to 5 2 review. Calculators are not allowed, and this is the free response portion. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to graph this line y equals 1 half t plus 4. So, we have a y coordinate or y intercept of 4 and a slope of 1 half. So, I'll go up 1 and over 2. Looks like you get a picture that looks something like this. And then I want to use geometry to find the area under this line above the x or the t axis between the vertical lines t equals negative 2 and t equals 4. So I'm going to plug in negative 2 and that'll give me a 3. And I'm going to plug in a 4 and that'll give me a 6 because now I'll know the um, dimensions. Looks like I've got a trapezoid here, so I'm going to remember that the area of a trapezoid is one half the first base plus the second base times the height. And the height has to be perpendicular to both bases and the bases are parallel. So looking at this picture I can see that this is one of my bases and this is my other base. So my first base is 3, my second base is 6, my height is the distance between those, which is going to be 2 plus 4, or 6. And then I have a half. So it looks like I get 3 times 9, which is 27. Break down on points, you get 1 for the graph of the line and 1 point for the area. So we're up to 2 points. Now we move to part B. Part B says, if x is greater than 2, let a of x be the area of the region that lies under this line between negative 2 and x. So sketch the region, then write the a. Okay, so in this case, it's going to look an awful lot like this one, except instead of stopping at 4, we're going to move that 4 anywhere along the x-axis, as long as it's bigger than 2. So for my picture, I'm still going to have negative 2, 3 plugged in. I'm still going to have this same curve bounding the top. Only now I'm just going to have a random x as its input. So when I plug x in, I will get a 1 half x plus 4 out. So I want to sketch it and then write the integral or the area as a definite integral. So the area will be the accumulation from negative 2 up to x of this function. So my integrand, be careful that you don't have t's and x's intertwined. It's important that we end at x. Oops, sorry. It's important that we end at x and that the integrand has a t in it. That means the little pieces of this are going to be changes in t. Remember, these two have to match. So there's part B, one point for the graph and one point for the correct integral. Part C says we want to use geometry to find out what that area actually is. So geometry says the area of that trapezoid is going to be one half the base, which is the right edge minus the left edge, or excuse me, the height. So that would be an x minus a negative 2 times the sum of the bases. Well, we already know this base is a 3, and the other base is the y-coordinate that comes from plugging x into the function. So if I multiply that all out together, I will end up with, let's see, an x squared over 4 plus a 4x plus a 7. So you get one point for the correct base lengths. So one point for those two. Get another point for the correct height. And you get your final point for computing a of x. Now remember that you could have just left it like this. The reason I multiplied it out is because I knew what was coming in the final part. So three points for this. And we're ready for part d. Part d says now I want to differentiate that area function that we found in c. And then we want to notice something. So because I multiplied it out, it's going to make it easier for me to take the derivative. The derivative of that will be 1 half 
of, or excuse me, a 2 times an x over 4, which is a 1 half x plus a 4. So now what do we notice about that? Well, this 1 half x plus 4 looks an awful lot like my original integrand right here, only the x got plugged into it. So it is the integrand, or the equation of the line, with an x plugged in. So the derivative was the integrand or the equation of the line with the x plugged in. For this you get 1.4 the derivative of a, you get another point for the interpretation. So that gives you your final nine points. <laughs>